on this Wednesday morning. And we will take our prayer this morning from Wednesday of week four, which can be found on page 644, 644. And we begin with our hymn, Now That the Daylight Fills the Sky. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Now that the daylight fills the sky, we lift our hearts to God on high, that he in all we do or say would keep us free from harm today, would guard our hearts and tongues from strife, from anger sin would hide our life, from all ill sights would turn our eyes, would close our ears from vanities, would keep our inmost conscience pure, our souls from folly would secure, would bid us check the pride of sense with due and holy abstinence. So we, when this new day is gone, and night in turn is drawing on, with conscience by the world unstained, shall praise his name for victory gain. My heart is ready, O oh God, my heart is ready. I will sing, sing, sing your grace. grace. Awake, awake my soul, awake lyre and heart, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations, I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O oh God, arise above the heavens, May your glory shine on earth. O oh, come and deliver your friends, help with your right hand and reply. From his holy place, God has made his promise. I will triumph and divide the land of Shechem. I will measure out the valley of Sukkot. Gilead is mine and Manasseh. Ephraim I take for my helmet. Judah for my commander's staff. Moab I will use for my washbowl. On Edom I will plant my shoe. Over the Philistines I will shout in triumph. But who will lead me to conquer the fortress? Who will bring me face to face with Edom? Will you utterly reject us, O God, and no longer march with our armies? Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is vain. With God we shall do bravely, and he will trample down our foes. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. The Lord has clothed me in a garment of justice and salvation. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with a robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as, and as a garden causes what is sown in its spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until her vindication goes forth as brightness and her salvation as a burning torch. The nations shall see your vindication and all the kings your glory, and you shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. 
you shall, you shall no more be termed forsaken, and your land shall no more be termed desolate. But you shall be called my delight in her, and your land married. For the Lord delights in you, and your hand is married. For as a young man marries a virgin, so shall your sons marry you. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your God rejoice over you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has clothed me in a garment of justice and salvation. I will praise my God all my days. My soul give praise to the Lord. I will, I will praise, praise the Lord, Lord all my days. Make, make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, their return to clay, and their plans that day come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord with God, who alone made heaven and earth the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. The Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, <coughs> but courts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will praise my God all my days. <coughs> Scripture reading is taken from the book of Deuteronomy. Understand this today and take it to heart. The Lord is God indeed, in heaven above as on earth beneath, he and no other. Keep his laws and commandments as I give them to you today. I will praise the Lord at all times. I will praise the Lord at all times. His praise will be always on my lips. I will praise the Lord at all times. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. I will praise the Lord at all times. Let us serve the Lord in holiness all our days. 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who <coughs> brings the dawn and darkest night dispels, who raises up a mighty Savior from the earth, of David's line, a son of royal birth. The prophets tell a story just begun, a vanquished foe and glorious victory won, of promise made to all who keep the law's guide. God's faithful love and mercy will abide. This is the oath once swore to Abraham. All shall be free to dwell upon the land, free now to praise unharmed by the oppressor's wrong. Holy and right is in the sight of God. And you, my child, this day you shall be called the promised one, the prophet of our God. For you will go before the Lord to clear the way and shepherd all into the light of day. The tender love God promised from our birth is soon to dawn upon the shadowed earth to shine on those whose sorrows seem to never cease, to guide our feet into the path of peace. All glory be to God, Creator blessed, to Jesus Christ, God's love made manifest, and to the Holy Spirit, gentle comforter. All glory be, both now and evermore. Let us serve the Lord in holiness all our days. And we bring our morning prayer to a close by presenting now our intercessions to the Father as today we pray, Father, give us your strength. Father, give us your strength. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he gave us new birth into a living hope by his son's resurrection from the dead. To him we pray. Father, give us your strength. Turn our eyes to Jesus Christ, your son. May he lead us in our faith and bring it to perfection. Father, give us your strength. We pray for cheerfulness and a generous heart. May we bring joy to our homes, to our work, and to all whom we meet. Father, Father, give, give us, us your, your strength. strength. We pray for all who are working today. Be with them at home and in the city, in the factory and in the fields. Father, Father give, give us, us your, your strength. strength. We pray for those who have no work. We pray for the disabled and the sick, for those who cannot find work, and for those who are retired. Father, Father give, give us, us your, your strength. strength. And we pray for all those who have asked for the prayers of the community here in Clonard, in particular those whose names and intentions are inscribed in the Book of Intentions here on the sanctuary. And we continue to pray for our co-workers, for all those who share and support our mission. As we now pray, our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Remember, Lord, your solemn covenant, renewed and consecrated by the blood of the Lamb, so that your people may obtain forgiveness for their sins, and a continued growth in grace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless and protect us all this day, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our celebration of the Eucharist will follow in 30 minutes. <laughs>